Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Oh, whatever time of day this is uh, for you. Later on morning for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, uh, ooh, 921. Beautiful face over there. Anyways, okay. How goes it? Is it Tell It Tuesday? A try It Tuesday? What is that for you? It's a little dark in here. Should I turn on more light? It was a Friday day in Peterborough. I saw Ryan and I in Peterborough. Peterborough. <laughs> and I'm a swinging. Got some good news coming in. Learning how to use my voice and ask it for help. Cause you're no harm in asking. As long as you're asking it. From somebody that can help. Weirdo. Welcome. It's me, Wingish Name Bay, Majeki Quay, your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman. Also, Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar, all this beautiful divine being right here. Welcome, you beautiful divine beings, right here too. How goes it with a you? Right, yes, I'm swinging, feeling good, got that empowering coming in. I'm going to go turn on this light here. Just give me one second, see. Don't worry, I'm not too far away. i just right here. Let's see if it makes a difference. <gasps> and then there was light, they said. And then they said there was light. A little bit. Makes a little bit of a difference then now, doesn't it? Okay, let's just get right on, jumping right into today's session. We do our regular, all oh, this and that, left and right, east and west. <laughs> yes, I'm swinging some good things coming. I'm feeling hopeful, hopeful, hopeful. I'll figure some things out. I gotta learn a new skill. Oh, glad I love that. Come in, being fully holy and true. Got a date later on, connecting with the little soul sister. Love that. Awesome. It's been a while, so I love, love, love. Hey, I got all brothers, so I like to connect with my sisters when I can. I had to go adopt them all. Hey, y'all, my sisters, and I love y'all. <laughs> I'm here. Unconditional loving. Oh, always, no matter what. No matter what's going on, no, I love you. No matter what. You come to my home, you always get hard hugs. Or I can throw them, you know, this day and age. Sometimes we just got to throw the hard hugs, right? So, okay. I'm almost done this one. Let's call in all of our energies from the east. Path of illumination. I didn't want to see the bottom. Path of illumination and clarity. Place of fire. Place of man. Calling back all of our energies from the south. The waters. The emotions. The child. Place of innocence. Calling back all of our energies from the west. It's the place of introspection. The woman, the earth, the physical. <sighs> Calling back all of our energies from the north. The air, the mental, the wisdom years. Walking a red road from the south to the north, right? That's the childhood. Red road or earth walk goes from south to north. That ritual of joy. Boy, we sure know how to tap into that joy when we're kids. We're born these little bundles of joy. So we need to tap into that. What brings us joy? At least, you know, can we put one hour aside for this little? Out of the 24 in the day? One hour for this little? Mmm, wouldn't that be awesome? And then up to south to north. The wisdom years. Look at that. We can laugh at ourselves and see how we fell for things. We thought they were our beliefs, but it was stuff that was programmed into us, whatever. And we can laugh that we took things so seriously. You know, we can laugh that we tried to escape this human experience when that's exactly what we came here for. Ha 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 ha. Try to do a spiritual bypass. Yeah. 
Let's come on, let's return home. Let's come and then we want to get home as quickly as we can. What kind of vacation is that, right? <laughs> when was the vacation we signed up for, right? Was it? I don't know. No, it is. Let's laugh at ourselves. I don't know. East to West, Blue Road of Spirits, always there with us. And that's our generous protector. Him. Because Spirit is that generous protector. And then we have those generous protectors in our lives. I see that it's my big brother, Ray. Who's been a special part of this whole YouTube video, too. Because it was right when I started this. But I continued on. I think it was like the first day we go back to one of my first things. And that's when my big brother, Ray, took his life in his own hand. But that's our generous protector spirit is always there, but will not impose its will on us, right? It's free will. So we can align our will with the divine, though that's up to us. That generous protector is there, no matter what. Divine interventions when we can't help ourselves, but even like the CPR and first aid, you have to ask permission to give somebody a Heimlich maneuver. They say no, you can't touch them until they passed out, right? Oh, and look at that bottom and joy in the earth. We connect with that, that physicality. When we get to that earth, we see we're part of this earth as we go enter into the eastern gate, exit through the west, our body becomes part of this earth again, and we attach, we return to that spirit, which is just joy and love. We come here to experience that contrast, to appreciate the true beings that we are. Maybe, I don't know. What do you believe? Buff? Below? And within. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm doing this and I was exported. And I forgot that I was even recorded. Recording. Right? I'm having this conversation in my head. Amazing. Never been shy with spirit. Never. Wasn't shy with you. Interesting. Hmm. Excuse me, would you? Okay. Let's line these ones up again. 832. How long did it take me to spread those out? Hey, uh, so much going on in my head. Thank you, spirit, for helping me stay focused and stay here. And now it's just all here. Thank you very much. Hey. <laughs> Spread them, spread them, I'm just a spreading them out. <laughs> totally caught up in my head. <laughs> Thank you, sweet Jesus, got all my relief. And all yours, whatever you call it, in to be here helping us. What are we doing today? Let's, 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 let's go for an action. Let's do. Sometimes we just gotta do, right? We're taking that step, that action, because we're guided for an action. But sometimes we don't see, right? We're gonna leap that leap of faith. We're guided to take this leap up. We don't know what's coming next, but we need to take that first step. Right there. That's the action we want to take right there. Whoa, that unlimited vision. 
looking it in take a step towards that unlimited vision what is that for you what is it you're being called to do what is that vision you've got highest in vision is the boundaries keeping you in or maybe maybe today right that's the action is either placing a boundary or is your boundaries limiting your vision let's have a look at that today shall we shall we my darling have a look are your boundaries keeping you restricted or is there a boundary that you need to place down mm -hmm. that's the action today or any day that you're watching this any day that you decide to do that whatever one step in looking at when it comes to your vision to your dreams what are you trying to manifest what is you trying to get out of your own way for and do we need to have the boundaries on that right or was there a boundary limiting us a boundary limiting us we need to look at that and take those actions either to place that boundary down or to lift one to go beyond that right to push those limits the boundaries we put on for ourselves that actually hold us back so let's reflect. Okay, well, well, let's reflect. Okay, well, what do you mean by that, spirit? Unlimited vision and boundaries. What kind of action is that? <laughs> okay, so let's reflect on that. But, but what, what is it that you were trying to impress upon us here? I don't know. That one? Okay. And that one. Okay. The council fire. Well, that came up yesterday. Too, no, didn't it? So this is how we're reflecting on it. We're looking on, and there's the woman energy, right? The receiving. So we've been doing, doing, doing. So there's that balance, right? And those boundaries between giving, receiving. I like to say I always give more than I receive. But then how is that balance? Then I'm creating an imbalance myself by giving more than I receive. So then is it somebody else's fault? That I'm having less because I always give more than I receive. So what is that? That's decisions. When we make those decisions, we're going to give of ourself. Are we using our own energies? And is that in the highest and best interest of all? Are we feeling resentful of it? Did we have these boundaries that limited our visions before, but now we can open to receive that unlimited vision? Because maybe it was getting filtered to us through something else. I don't know. Mm hmm. How do you base your decisions? Are you thinking about it all? How does this step, right, as I'm making this or placing this boundary, how does that affect the whole and my life? Is it going to limit me more? Does it open me to receive or does this close me off? Wow. What is that? Okay, and it's coming up. We're, we're going to take this action. We're looking at that dream time, the unlimited vision. How have our boundaries limited us? Or, you know, made it go, maybe we do have to bring in the reins a little bit. What is that for you? It's going to be specific for you. Oh, look at that. 66 is right there. 810. 6, 8, 10, right? That's a 2 and an 8. 2 and an 8, 28 order. Look at that. Interesting. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Ourselves, ourselves, and our souls. Ourselves, the earth, and our souls. How about our souls, the earth, and ourselves? In that order? I don't know. What's that for you? <gasps> What's it all coming up to here? What are you trying to tell us here? What's this lesson for us to learn? Her. The overall here is right there. And it says what? Cycles and movement. This is how we create the cycles and movement. If we don't check the cycles, you know, don't check ourselves and see how we've restricted ourselves. We can't boundaries down. Look at that. Six, seven, eight, and 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 nine and ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All these numbers are adding up to that. We need to look inside. Doing those deep dives. Uh, the blue hair, the hair it does not stay on the surface. It dives right down deep into that muck to get all that stuff out there muck. 
Are we afraid to go into that muck because we need to get into that muck to create that movement, create those cycles in movement, right? I'm waiting for it to clear as well. So that's what it's all saying. What are these decisions? Are we making it just for ourselves? So do that self-reflection of those decisions that we've made. Uh, 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 have we limited our vision because of the boundaries that were placed on us? Do we look? Do we lift those boundaries? Do we align with the spirit instead of man's laws? What is that? Right? We have spirit guide us or man guide us. Who can see the bigger picture? Right? Hmm. Maybe the one that created it. Man has the limited vision because man is limited. Spirit is limitless right but we're limited by these cycles that we keep repeating we're not going to be moving away from these cycles until we take the time to really look at how these cycles are showing up in ourselves where where do we split this now we're up at the north is where we're gonna go in the wisdom splitting at the top here Okay, that's that. That's the truth as protection. Okay, that's what we got up at the top. Or the bottom card. That's the truth as protection. That we all belong here. We all have a special gift to share. We all have a purpose. Even that's just to be yourself, right? There we go. Original source. We're tapping into it. Don't scrutinize every little detail. That's coming up. We tap into that original source inside of us. What was the plan? That's the truth. We all came here with the purpose. You know, we were all made unique. Not to camouflage in, but to be unique individual fingerprints, right? Because this, this fingerprint that is you will never be walking this earth walk again as you. This one life, this one time. What do you do with that? Are you trying to hide out, hide your truth and who you are? Hi, there's my little foxy. Foxy, foxy, foxy love. I've got a foxy love. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, there we go. Okay, so camouflage. It's not about camouflaging it anymore. You're made the likeness and image of your creator. We all work, no exception. So if you're not shining your light bright, the world is missing out on you. You're keeping that contained. Oh, who am I to live this dream that I have? You know, is it just for you? Because if it's a dream, that can help others too, you know. You know. Oh, the forces all work together to help that. When you make that decision in the highest and best of all, you're not just thinking of your own self, right? And to self-sacrifice. Remember, sacrifice is to make sacred make it sacred how are you making your life sacred being grateful for this one life this one time this one life this one time what do you do with it do you align with the truth that we are all here together we're all human beings not one is more important than the other. We all follow these cycles. We all have human brains. We all are limited by these bodies. But we are not just these bodies. So do we attach to one? Do we identify as this and not that? We get all caught up. And how do we identify? Let's just be. Let's just be. Hmm. Well, I don't know. What is that? So we started with that action, and this one jumps right out. Brave herald of new thought. That's what we're doing. That's how we create that unlimited vision. We need to have a new thought. First, we need to see those old ways, catch on to those cycles, and then have a new way of doing it. Okay, this is how it was always done, but this doesn't have to be the way it is. Right? That's the truth. It's protection. We can change our minds. Once we change our minds, it starts to fall in line outside of us, too. Right? So what is that? That unlimited vision. So if it's not coming up for you, then what is it? Do you need to change that vision slightly? Was that vision from your own or was that something placed on you? You need to go into the family business because this is what we do in this family. So if you're part of this family, you need to follow what this family does. If you're part of this group, you need to do what this group does. 
didn't wear, right? We go in, divide you all, and then we in, divide you all, right? Out, divide. We in, divide, out, divide, whatever that is for you. So look at it, but the truth is we all come from that same source, right? No matter what you call it, all animated by the same source, all supported by this earth, none of us could survive without our heavenly father and our earthly mother. None of us. Mm -mm, we'd be nothing without those. Mm -hmm. That's the basic survival. That's what we count on. That's what we count on for basic survival. That's all we need. The air we breathe, the things. Everything else is luxury. Everything else is luxury. Look, we don't have to work as hard for our foods and everything like that. So we don't have to work as hard for just basic survival now. But we then take for granted what it takes that there's many others that are still working very hard for their basic survival. Some kicking back on kicking up their feet, being very wasteful with their stuff. Others are struggling just for basic survival. Is that fair? Is that decisions being made? Are those council fires and those people that are governing for the people, making decisions in the best, highest and best interest of all? To make sure everybody's basic survival needs are met. Just have clean water. Hmm. So let's look at that. Maybe we need some more woman energy, more nurturing energy at these council fires. Because they take all that humanity out of it. Remember, we are still dealing with people. And, you know, there's lots that we need for basic survival. Air, food, water, but each other as well. But we could do it without that. Like, you know. Hmm. But what are we dependent on? Is it the people? A basic survival depends on the Father, Spirit, and the Mother Earth. Are we taught that? To survive on our own? Or are we made dependent on others? Hmm. Hmm. Right? And these cycles. Because, hey, lots of people need to be needed. Whoops. Okay, there's a few flipped over here. Aha! Uh -huh. I just want to have a quickie look at this. Beautiful. See? The earth is eternally fertile. The totem of pipes. Free yourself to fly with the eagles. There's the joy there too. That's the wisdom. The highest wisdom is to tap into that joy. Right? Be that whirling rainbow warrior of peace. Right? Bring that balance and equilibrium of your male and female parts in yourself. Balance that out. You're giving and receiving. Right? Give and be open to receive. Wow. Beautiful. And then we look at these cycles and what we can do to change them. Because we can't change them in anybody else but ourselves. Family cycles, world cycles, society cycles, whatever. Right? The abuse cycles. If you don't catch on to that abuse cycle, something flips. Well, this one's sticking out. This one. Right? There's the wise priestess. Wise priestess energizing others. You see, it's that thought. She doesn't have to be right out there with those kids. She can still send out. We can still send out those vibes, those positive thoughts. Hey, you know what? We can check in on our kids. They don't need devices and stuff like that, but we need to let them go and explore on their own. And you know what? The safer and more attached or secure... Um, healthy attachment that children have the further they will go explore so the safer they feel with their parent the further they will go from their parent right but if we teach them those tools then we don't need to be afraid because they need to learn their own lessons we don't want to block them from that they need to do their own deep dives and let's look at that are we competing for the repeating cycles going well i didn't get looked over lots or what was i watching right or you're trying to go no nope. That's what happened to me. Like, I had so many rules when I was a kid. My kids aren't going to have any rules. And then look at how we do that, right? Was that the wise way? Is that the way we find the balance? And sometimes we can. We swing it away over this way and we swing it over that way till we find that place in the middle. Let's look at that. How is balance coming into your life now? Hmm? And we look at our top and bottoms. Dolphins, the swimmers, totem a bull, swim in internal light. And that's that love, the love of who you are, 
who you have become. Who are you? Who you are becoming. Whatever that is for you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pull that up. See, and there was something behind here. There is that peacemaker interfacing the world. And that balance restored. We're going to pull these out a little bit. Her. Gathering together. That's what we're doing. Gathering together all of our parts and acceptance. We're gathering together and acceptance. We are part of this. Accept it. You're part of this world. you got a job to do. Accept it. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to believe it. But it is the truth. Right, just because you believe it or don't want to believe it doesn't mean it's not the truth. So these were our bottom cards right there. What beautiful. The peacemaker and that brings that balance, right? We need more peacemakers in this world. Not through fighting. Time to fight for peace is done because it's kind of counterintuitive, don't you think? Fight for your peace. Right? It just doesn't go. Peaceful warriors. Whirling rainbows. And then the top card was... What's this top card here? Ah, steadfast mind. Aligning with the divine. And taking command for the good of all. And then restoring balance. Restoring balance. is on. It's all about finding that balance within. But it all begins within. We're changing those cycles. We're taking command. You know, bringing form and order to our own stuff for the highest, best interest of all, right? Mediator interfacing the world. We take that dolphin breath. We see, oh, we're not going to be hard on ourselves for the cycles that we repeated. But we're going to continue to repeat them until we open our eyes to them. Accept it. Acknowledge. Accept. Take action. Equals change. Okay, beautiful beings, that's a real quickie today. How is the boat that? Beautiful beings, have a wonderful, blessed day. And keep watching something exciting up and commenting. I'll be making an announcement here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got to get all the details worked out, but got something really exciting coming up. Yes, a beautiful event. Yay, 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 yay. Never done anything like this before, so I'll have to work that out. And, you know, I did my first act as my own lawyer today. So, this is what we must do. Nobody's fault, whatever, you know. It's just, it's the systems. But what do I got to do? Stand up for my kids. Make the decisions in the highest and best interest of all. That's what I'm doing. So, I need to take command of this. It's for this basic survival. Have that steadfast mind. Align it with the divine because I have the truth as protection. No more hiding my light anymore. This baby got to shine bright. And I hope you do the same thing too. I just want to be an example of everything that you can do. I want to be a reflection of all the beauty I see in the world. So anything that you see in me that you admire, it's in you too. Takes one to know one. La, 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 la. <laughs> oh, I love you all very much. Big as heart hugs ever. Yes. Thank you for being you. Shining your light through in everything you do because you know what? This world really needs you. I'm so glad you're here at this time. So shine your light, right? Because your presence is a gift. And if you don't be you, fully, holy, and true, the world will miss out on that gift that is you. Mwah! Love you. Empower, not overpower. Thank you. <laughs>